Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cute emoji rings. So the things you're going to need are some polymer clay in the colours pink, blue and red and of course yellow, which I forgot to include. Clear nail varnish, nail art brushes, some dotting tools, chalk or chalk pastels, brown acrylic paint, some white acrylic paint, some E6000 glue, craft or exacto knife and some blank ring bases. So I'm just going to start off by unwrapping my clay. And just break off a little piece, we don't really need much. And then proceed to uh, shape them into small circles and then flatten the top off with your thumb. Then you just want to get one of your little polymer circles and use the dotting tool to draw on the little face of the emoji. Carrying on doing this to all the little polymer circles until you have all the different facial expressions. I'm sorry my fat hand is covering what's going on, but you get the idea, just use the dotting tool to draw on the faces. So now I'm just getting some red clay to create little hearts. Roll out a tiny bit of red clay into a tiny sausage and then just cut off two little sections to make the heart. Use the dotting tool to help move around the clay and then just use your fingers to shape the little heart until you're happy with the design. Use the dotting tool to place the heart where you want it and then just gently push it down to help it stick. Use the same method to create the other heart. Now I'm just getting some blue clay to create the tear streams for my crying emoji. As you can see this piece was a little bit too thick so I had to cut it in half and then place it on the emoji. Use a larger dotting tool to help push the tear down and make a nice smooth surface. Now I'm just going to create a tongue by rolling a bit of pink clay up, cutting a section off and then just placing it onto the emoji. Use the dotting tool to help you move it around a bit and shape the tongue whilst also creating a little line that goes across the middle. Now I'm just going to take my chalk, take out the pink one or the red one and use my craft knife to scrape off some dust. Now I'm just going to take a little nail out brush and use the dust to paint on uh, the little red cheeks onto the emoji. Just dust off some excess chalk using a little fan brush. So now that I've made my emojis, I'm just going to bake them according to package directions. After they're out of the oven, they should be nice and hard and much more easier for you to work with. Now you're just going to get your dotting tool and your uh, brown acrylic paint and you're going to paint on the features. It's best to use the small dotting tool because then you can really get into the 
indentations and get some really nice detail in there. This one sort of messed up on me because uh, while I was taking it out of the oven it was still slightly soft and I accidentally uh, pushed down on the middle section that's why it looks a bit weird but the rest are fine. So once they're dry just get your clear nail varnish and get ready to paint them so they have a nice sheen to them. Using PVA glue also works for this section because it dries clear but I just think using nail varnish is better because it lasts a lot more longer and uh, personally I just feel like it's a better option than glue. Once they're nice and dry, you want to grab your ring bases and your E6000 glue, which is right here. Sorry, it's out of focus. Then you just want to grab your glue and put a little dab onto the ring base and then grab an emoji and stick it down and just let them dry for about 24 hours and you should be ready to go. So there you go, they should look like that once you're finished. They're really cute, you could wear them yourself or just hand them out at parties. There you go, my chubby fingers are taking them for a test drive. So uh, thanks for watching London DIYs. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye!